modern civics, Homo sapiens having a single origin in Africa. The new data further confirms that anatomically, modern humans colonized the planet after spreading out the African continent some 50,000 years ago. We have combined our genetic data with loop measurements of large sample of skulls to show definitely that modern humans originated from a single area, Africa. A genesis that Harbor said all non Africans are closely related to one another and they will all branch from a family tree rooted in Africa. I am General Hannibal Mark. I was born in 247 BC in Carthage, which is present day Switzerland. My father, Carthaginian General Amicula Barca, helped defeat the Romans in the first Punic War in 221 BC. Shortly after, he took me to Spain and forced me to spread eternal hostility toward the Roman Empire. Over the next few years, I thought I was giving up forces for control of Italian territories, and in late spring 218 BC, I marched through the, the Pyrenees toward Gaul, southern France with more than 100,000 troops and nearly 40 war elephants. Over the next three years, my army from Car my army, my army got a stipulated forces for control of Italian territory. For most of this time, I was fought with little aid from Carthage. In the end, I didn't have enough people to push the capital, and Scipio did not have enough people to defeat me. I am a hero. I earned this title by abandoning my campaign on Rome to travel back to defend my country from Roman forces in 200 BC. I was honored by more than Scipio's party in his hands than by my actions. Even so, I continue to do my best for my people for the rest of my life and remain true to the law and sit back and days. To the end, I remain in India Rome and my name will forever be remembered as one of the greatest adversaries. I am Yaha Santiva. I was born 1840, the Sea I am the child of Atta Cole in Papu Ankoma. I am the Queen Mother of Egyptian in the Ashanti Empire. I was appointed queen by my brother Nana Akwasi at Free of Peace. The Edwisu Mean or ruler of Edwisu. In 1896, when the British government exiled King of Asante, Prince the I, and other members of the Asante government, I became regent. The British Governor General of the Gold Coast, Frederick Hobson, demanded the Golden Sword, the symbol of the Asante nation. This request led to a secret meeting of the remaining members of the Asante government at Kumasi to discuss how to secure the return of their king. There was a disagreement among those present on how to go about this. I was present at the meeting and stood and addressed the members of the council when he did not obey his words. Now I have seen that some would be fair to go forward to fight for our king. If it were the brave days of old chiefs, they would not sit down and see their king taken without firing a shot. No white man could have dared to speak to the chiefs of Asante in the way the governor spoke to you chiefs this morning. Is it true that the bravery of Asante is no more? I cannot believe it. It cannot be. I must say this. If you, the men of Asante, will not go forward, then we will. I shall call upon my fellow women. We will fight the white men. We will fight till the last of us fall on the battlefield. With these words, I was chosen by a number of regional Asante kings to be the war leader of the Asante fighting force. This is the first and only example for a woman to be given that role in Asante history. My dream for Asante free or British rule was recognized on March 6, 1957, when the Asante protector gained independence as part of the first African nation is a pair, sub-Saharan Africa 